Welcome to Module 9 of the Versa Essentials series. In this module, we will explore the features, reporting, and logging capabilities of Versa Analytics. We'll also discuss the event correlation capabilities of Versa Analytics. Your network services and operations. Versa Analytics is the most powerful analytical engine available in the market for networking and security services. In today's networking environments, network requirements change at a fast pace, and network administrators have to keep up with those changes. This requires continuous visibility and analysis of your network services and operations. Versa Analytics provides in-depth visibility to various networking services and correlates the data in a way that can help network administrators take corrective actions to address an organization's long-term and short-term goals. Versa Analytics has been developed by Versa Networks as part of the Versa Solutions ecosystem and provides best-in-class logging and analytical capabilities. Versa Analytics is seamlessly integrated with Flex VNF appliances and Versa Director as part of the Versa solution. It collects logs from the Versa Flex VNF appliances and acts as a big data analytics and search engine. Versa Analytics supports exporting logs to third-party analytics systems. It also supports programmable RESTful APIs. Next, we'll discuss the Versa Analytics architecture. The Versa Analytics architecture consists of a log collector, an analytics engine, and a search engine. Versa Analytics can be deployed as a standalone node with both the analytics and log collector engines on the same system. For production grade scale, it can be deployed with dedicated analytics nodes and log collector nodes. The Flex VNF devices communicate with the analytics node using the IP fix protocol. This can either use TCP or UDP as the transport protocol. The collector node saves the logs in a database. At this time, Versa Analytics can be configured to export the logs to third-party log collectors. Versa can export logs of a particular service or for all services. Versa supports exporting logs to third-party log collectors such as ArcSight and Splunk using Syslog and NetFlow protocols. An application server interacts with the analytics cluster for searching and retrieving data. Next, we'll discuss the log format used by Versa Analytics. The log entries are formatted with detailed information for each entry. Every log entry carries the following information. Timestamp and origination details. Organization details. Flow duration. Every log will have information about the packets sent or received, along with the bytes sent or received. Every log has information about the interface details, such as ingress and egress, for forward or reverse flows. The source and destination IP addresses. Port numbers, along with the application ID and user details. SD-WAN flows will have information on the SD-WAN traffic steering rule and path details. And lastly, any kind of metadata will also be passed in the log, such as URL category, subcategory, etc. Versa Analytics will use all of this information to provide user understandable data and correlations. Next, we'll discuss some of the Versa Analytics features. Versa Analytics is a big data analytics platform for Versa powered software defined services, including next generation firewall, SD WAN, and many more. A policy driven logging framework is used for Versa powered software defined services. For example, you can choose to log events for each of the firewall access policies or SD-WAN policies. Reports and Analytics Versa Analytics provides various kinds of reports and analytical data for varying time frames, with time windows as small as 5 minutes to over a year in the past, depending on the implementation. 
Versa Analytics provides reports based on various software-defined services such as SD-WAN, Next Generation Firewall Services, CGNAT, etc. The administrator can generate reports for a specific appliance or for all of the appliances that are part of an organization. The administrator can select various report types including site usage, access circuit usage, top applications, top application usage per access circuit, VRF usage, site-to-site -site SLA, SLA violations, MOS score, and many more. These reports can be exported in various file formats including PDF or Microsoft Excel. Reports can also be scheduled and generated automatically at specified time intervals. Although Versa Analytics has its own web-based interface, the Analytics tab at the top of the Versa Director dashboard opens the same Analytics view, so all Analytics functions are available from Versa Director. Once you log in to Versa Analytics, you'll see options to select the organization and to define the time period for which you want to analyze. In the example, we've selected the organization parent-org and the last seven days. The output shows the top sites based on various metrics including the number of sessions, the volume of data received or transmitted, etc. This example shows the top sites based on the volume of data received. To change the metric, click on the metrics menu and select any other metric. For example, selecting bandwidth changes the chart to list sites based on total bandwidth. Hovering the mouse over a chart section provides a pop-up with more detailed information about that section. The right graph shows the top access circuits from all of the sites in the organization. To view more analytical data for a particular site, click on the site in the graph. In this example, we'll view the details of branch-mt-shanghai. When you click on a specific branch, the first dashboard pane displayed is the site usage. Site usage metrics are based on information such as session count, volume of traffic center received, and bandwidth. To change the metric parameter, use the chart options in the top right corner of the chart. You can view access circuit information by clicking on the Access Circuits tab. Access circuit utilization is displayed based on a time scale. The metric type can be changed by clicking on the chart option in the top right corner of the chart. Details of the chart data are displayed by hovering the mouse icon over the chart at any time frame. In the example, ILL represents internet traffic and MPLS represents MPLS WAN circuit traffic. Next, you can review top users and analyze their usage based on a time scale. Usage metrics can be based on sessions, volume of data transmitted and received, and average bandwidth. You can click on a particular user to view more details including correlation with access circuits on a time scale and top applications that the user has accessed or has tried to access. To return to the previous screen, click on the Dashboard Back button above the charts. You can view the top applications and analyze their usage based on a time scale by clicking the Applications tab. The usage is based on various metrics like sessions, volume of data transmitted and received, and average bandwidth. You can click on a particular application to look for more details including a correlation with access circuits on a time scale and top users for that particular application. Next, you can review SD-WAN rules usage by selecting the Rules tab. The metrics used to display the SD-WAN rules can be changed through the Metrics menu on the top right of the chart. The SLA Metrics tab is used to review the performance of various paths to SD-WAN branches. As an example, we'll review the performance of the Internet path from Branch MT Shanghai towards Branch MT London. Scroll down to look for an entry in the circuit list. When you find the circuit that you want to analyze, click on the circuit. Here we've selected the Branch MT Shanghai to Branch MT London Internet circuit. Click on the magnifying glass icon next to the circuit to view the circuit details. The output on the left shows the round trip delay performance over time. You can change this metric to delay variations by clicking on the metrics menu. The right graph shows packet loss performance over time. You can display other metrics such as forward loss variation and reverse loss variation by clicking on the metric menu. You can also look for SLA violation data by clicking on the SLA violation tab on the main dashboard. 
This is where you'll find information about flaps observed on a path and SLA violations observed for any SD-WAN policy rule. The left graph shows SLA flaps that remote sites have observed. In this example, two flaps are observed towards DCMT San Jose. The right graph shows the top remote sites seeing SLA violations based on the SLA thresholds defined by the administrator. The output